Hey guys, I want to give you a quick demo of how to make a Google Form so that we can send out surveys to all of our English students. Um, here's one that I made that if you want to model yours after, feel free. Uh, these are just the questions that Chad set out um, that he thought we'd want to ask students. Um, so you see I've got a title up here, um, some section headings, I've got a question, and then I've got some extra help for some of the questions where I give examples and things like that. I've got lots of room for the students to write their own things. Um, so yeah, if this is how you want yours to look, then pay attention and I'll show you how to make one. So the first step is to go to drive.google.com. If you don't have a Google account, you'll need to make one quick for this. Um, you want to click create over here and then a form and then you're ready to start typing. So you'll want to come up with a title um, English to if you want a subsection, subsection whatever you want um, question, question number one uh, what do you enjoy to read or whatever you want Help. Um, this could be Twitter posts, CNN.com, you know, whatever they want. Um, and then the question type, I would suggest that you make it paragraph text because this will give them lots of room to write their response. And then the other thing you'll want to do is to make this a required question because that will force them to answer it before they submit their quiz. So if the next question that you're going to type is going to look like this, you can save yourself some time by coming over here and clicking the duplicate button, and then boom, you have another one. Um, so you could do, you know, number two, um, what motivates you to read, same thing. Um, then you can just keep going with this, as many questions as you want to create. Um, if you want to add a section header to divide questions, you can do that. If you didn't see, I just went to add item and then section header. Um, so say I want to have this say reading questions just to separate it a little bit for students. And I can click and drag this back up there. Um, so then I, that just helps separate a little bit for students. If I realize that I made a mistake on one of these and I want to go back and change it up a little bit, I can highlight it and click that little yellow pencil, and then it gets you back in there so that you can change things up. Um, and then if you want to add a theme and make it look pretty, you can click on themes at the top and then pick any of these that you want. I just did books because... Um, so there you have it, uh, and then once you get this created, you can email out the link, um, you could tweet it and have students access it that way, you could just write it on the board and have them paste it, you could copy and paste it into um, your website if you have one. Um, there's a bunch of different ways to show this. If you have any questions, feel free to email me and hopefully this helped you out.